what is up beautiful people welcome or welcome back to unapologetically mercy today we're going to be doing something a little bit different on the channel but maybe get used to this <laughs> Today, you guys are going to come along with me as I do my my first day doing shift. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm currently at the Target in West Ashley. I have an order that's 16 items and it's about 13 something. So let's go ahead in the store, knock this first order out and deliver this to the customer. So I just completed the order, ran into a few mistakes, but it's always like that when you do something for the first time. Instead of me going to self-checkout, I was supposed to go to the front to do the order exchange pickup where people pick up their orders from Target for real. And there was two items that were unavailable. And I tried to contact the customer, let him know, hey, do you want any substitutes and I called him no response so I just let those two be as it is and so now we're on the way to drop this off and we also secured another order for Office Depot so stay tuned <sighs> I'm out of breath I'm sorry so I just dropped off my first shift order and it was downtown Charleston literally close to College of, College of Charleston campus and some of these apartments down here, they don't have building, not building numbers, but they don't have like letting me know this is apartment A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever the case might be. And I was struggling to find where, um, and I was struggling to find where my customer's apartment building was because the one upstairs didn't have a letter, the one downstairs didn't have a letter. So I had to call him again. Luckily he answered this time and he literally came outside and I took my picture for my proof of delivery and I gave it to him. That was crazy. I, I missed it the first time, had to like turn around. Luckily, I know a little bit about downtown Charleston, but I pray to never have an order be delivered downtown Charleston because I didn't like it, if we're gonna be honest. I did not, I didn't like the chaos of it all. Um, but hopefully um, we get to our next order, which will be Office Depot. Hopefully we'll get there at 345, but I'm still downtown. It's 330. So cross your fingers. I don't know how that's going to go. But um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Can I tell you, we literally just got to Office Depot literally in time. We did. So let's go and get this order and drop it off. I we got myself. So once again had another slow moment so i'm in office depot trying to find the self um the self checkout area or whatever but i'm like standing in the checkout line thinking like that's where it is but because i've never personally ordered anything online from office depot and had to like go pick it up so this whole time i thought you had to be in the line until as i got closer to the front i'm like oh there's self checkout right in front of me so i found the number so now the only issue is I'm trying to type in this address that's on shipped and it's saying that there's nothing found. So cross your fingers that we're able to locate where our um where our customer is and we can drop this off and go from there. Okay, so update. We found the place. Um I guess it was like undefined um in the app because it's a church. Um, but I found them. They were literally like six minutes away from Office Depot. So that's phenomenal. Now I'm either going home and see if I get another order or I'm going to just chill out close to like the Target area and see if I get another one. If not, I'm like done for the day. Okay, so we haven't gotten any orders that are in West Ashley. And I refuse to drive through this traffic to go to North Charleston or Somerville, especially North Charleston, because that's where I work. Um, I'm not doing that. Um, I refuse to do that. It would take me like an hour just to get to my destination. Well, not to my destination, but like to a store and then have the drive and like deliver. We're not doing that. So we're basically done for today. If you live in Charleston, South Carolina, you know what I'm talking about, about this traffic. Like after four o'clock, really three o'clock traffic is like ridiculous. So I refuse to, to, to like 
mm -mm. so i refuse to go to goose creek north charleston james island downtown if it's not in west ashley where i am if it's not in west ashley where i am currently then i'm not interested in doing it um another thing that i've learned from my first day of doing shifts is that doing orders after two o'clock is not it's not ideal for me i'm not saying that it's not I'm not saying that I can't do anything from like the three to four, five o'clock time frame, but after that, that's it. So if I only do two hours in, if I only do two orders in two hours, then that's it for the day. Because like I said, I'm not about to be out here in these streets, out here in these streets in this traffic because traffic is ridiculous. If you know, you know. So... I've noticed that there is a greater uh, a greater amount of I've noticed today that there's a greater amount of orders that come from Somerville area. So if I do this tomorrow, I will actually stay in North Charleston after work and just get orders in the North Charleston Somerville area and go from there. So so to recap today's adventures, we had two orders. We made twenty dollars we might make a little bit less because the first order there was two items that um there was two i there was two items that was not found and the customer did not respond if they wanted to substitute or not so i just marked it as not found and kept going about my day even though i did communicate multiple times with him um and so for me i think that's a great start with doing shifts, I liked it a whole lot better than I did with DoorDash um, because you get paid way more, even though you do have to do the shopping. Not always, but um, I'm okay with that. It definitely wasn't that bad. Um, so, yeah, you guys. So, yeah, guys, that is all for today. Stay tuned for more shift updates. Stay tuned for more entrepreneur things that I have going on. Yeah, so like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel if you like anything self-love, entrepreneurship, astrology, self-love. Did I say that already? Self-love, DIY, or lifestyle related. And until next time, you guys stay blessed with peace, one love, high vibrations. Know your worth and add tax. Do what is best for you, not what everyone else thinks is best for you. Peace.